Hi, kindergarten friends, Miss Ingram here. I am ready to continue working with the standard KOA1, which is working with addition and subtraction. And we are going to continue to use pictures and drawings to figure out our answer. So today we're going to be working with subtraction. Friday we did addition and I told you guys I would be back Monday with some subtraction problems. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Our first problem, they've already drawn a tree for us. It says four apples were in the tree. Johnny ate three apples. How many apples are still in the tree? So since we're talking about apples, I'm going to choose red for apples. And at the beginning of our problem here, it tells us that there were four apples in the tree. So Miss Ingram's going to go ahead and draw four apples. There's one, two, three, four. Okay. There are my four apples. And it says that Johnny ate three apples. How many apples are still in the tree? If you eat an apple, where does it go? Into your stomach, it's gone. So we're not going to be drawing three more apples because Johnny ate them. So he got these apples off the tree and he ate them. So what we're going to do now is cross out how many of those apples. Three, because that is how many Johnny ate. One, two, three. How many apples are still in the tree? One. Great job. One is our answer. Now we can take this problem and write a subtraction sentence. We always go back to how many we had at the beginning. And we drew four apples. So we could say four. Now, did we draw three more or did we have to cross three out? We cross three out. So we're talking about subtraction here. So I'm going to use minus four minus three because that's how many Johnny ate equals one. One apple was left in the tree. Great job. Let's do another. Miss Ingram will erase what we had here. This problem is talking about geese. It says that there are 10 geese in the pond. Three geese fly away. How many geese are in the pond now? All right, well, we don't have to do counters or tallies. We can actually make a pond. So Miss Ingram's going to draw a big blue pond here. There's my pond. Now at the beginning it says there are 10 geese, 10. So I need to draw how many geese? 10, I need to draw 10 of them. I'm just gonna choose yellow here. Now, I'm not gonna draw birds, that's too hard for me to do. And that's okay. I can go back to doing counters if I wanted. I am gonna choose to do triangles. And I'm going to do 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. There are 10 geese in the pond. I drew my 10 geese. We're gonna pretend those triangles are geese. If you can draw a goose, draw them. The singer did triangles, and I still have 10 triangles for 10 geese. Three geese fly away. So if these geese are flying away, they're not gonna be in the pond. So I'm not going to draw three more geese. I need to cross out three of my geese. So here I go. One, two, three. Three geese are gone. How many geese are in the pond now? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
7 is my answer. Now, can I write a subtraction sentence? I sure can. It says that there are 10. 10 geese in the pond. Remember, we start back at the beginning how many geese we drew to start with. 10. So I have 10. And we had some geese fly away. So 10 minus 3 equals how many did we have left? 7. 10 minus 3 equals 7. Great job. As you're working in your packet this week, make sure that you use your drawings and your crossing out to practice some of your subtraction problems. If you want to use beads or rocks or marbles or toy cars, you can do that as well. You can make a group and then move some away to show that you are doing subtraction. All right, have a great day.